Episode is it 18? 18. Well, as you go know, as you may have known, as you will start to know if this is your first interview, we honestly have probably like an amazing lineup. Like I'm looking at it, I I'm looking at like hot 97 type lineup, you know what I'm saying? Like the amount of people that we've had come on the show and really like um give it to us like from from the streets like from the ground like really how to like make it in a specific industry right like whether you're uh trying to break into afro beats like gelato or like enj or whether you're trying to be multifaceted like kj's my name right or even get into sort of industries and where someone may not even um know how to get into that industry like with um interior design and and, and decorating like Aaron abney or uh esthetician um like products or skincare products like zaria and all these different things like we're really 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 putting on a quite a banger quite a banger of like interviews and honestly i don't know why 20 is just something that i'm like really looking forward to or like the number 20 is really something i'm looking forward to but it's quite insane how we've come so far and we just have so much farther to go right so come seven i'm gonna get my guy in here because we never really had a person in this industry in this specific industry on this show before like we've done music artists we've done you know uh career direction um in terms of like you know curating music artists or curating art in itself but we never really had a dj on the scene right like we never really had someone that can really tell us what it's like to be a vibe curator, as we like to call them. So I'm on water, as always, ice, major amounts of ice. If you want to get me water, just understand that I love ice. So got my water, got my ice, and come some here. We just go kick it, right? Um, couple of nonsense in this last minute before we get I got on here. Um. Well, they know it's at death. Uh, we definitely know that the Bossy Brunch is happening May 22nd. Um, shout out to Kajani Brown, right, for becoming the first black woman Supreme Court Justice. Other announcements, other announcements, other announcements, other announcements. I think, I think that. Oh, we just saw the Ari, Ari Aries, Aries pants that uh, Tatiana, Tatiana um, showed us. So definitely go to her page and check those out. Really, um, but she just was uh, featured in the Spring Press Fashion Show at Howard as well. Um, and just honestly, like just the amount of people that we have on the show coming and doing amazing things is just quite phenomenal. So I want to make sure you can hear me and everything. Yeah, I hear you. All right, cool, cool, cool. So for all the people coming in and for all the people that are watching live, before we even get into like Zion, how you how you doing on Sunday? How you doing on this Sunday right now? I'm chilling, I'm chilling, I'm Gucci, I'm Gucci. <laughs> it's good, it's good. You know, I like Sundays. Sundays are a very good time. I like doing interviews on Sundays because people are chilling. You know what I'm saying? People are just vibing, getting themselves ready for the week. So it's a really good time to where you sit down and reflect. You know what I'm saying? But for all the people getting onto the live, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Kicking It With Kachi, powered by the DC Voice, where every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, we highlight entrepreneur, a mogul, a visionary, or just a really dope individual of color that's really taking the industry by storm. And tonight, we have the pleasure to kick it with the one, the only, ZJ Star. And <laughs> thank you for having me, man. Of course, of course, of course, of course. So... Tune in too. You said who? I'll tell everybody that's tuned in. Of course, of course. And yeah. I see you got a lot of a lot of a lot of number a lot of big fans coming in. You know, you got the G two R movement. We're definitely gonna talk about that as well as we get into the interview. But before we even get into, you know, the Z J Star, right? Tell me a little bit about Zion, right? And how you kind of made this transition into becoming a DJ. I mean so like first it started off like me just listening to music you know i mean my brothers and sisters well my brother and sisters because i only got one brother you feel me 
like they always listen to all types of music you feel me and they was older than me so they they left early going to parties and shit so i wanted to listen to what they was listening to so i got some um so i was like where is this what they listen to like nah mm -hmm. <laughs> so then at first i started playing music for my p3 right so i'm playing music brought that shit outside in the backyard it's a party cookout playing music and I was like, nah, I gotta get a laptop, got a laptop, transition from there, boom, got virtual DJ, transition from there, Serato DJ was up. I was like, all right, nah. Then, you feel me? I did a backyard party for my friend and it just went up from there. <laughs> like, I just kept going. I ain't stopped. Word. So, you know? is there like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, is there work you have to do to become like a good DJ? Because I feel like people be like, oh, I can play music for like, you know, free gaming with my friends or I listen to good music, right? But I feel like in being a DJ, it's a lot bigger than just playing music that you like, right? So is there research yeah. you have to get into or like work you had to actually really get into and really studying to really become like a, a seasoned DJ? I'm from the Bronx. It's a whole bunch of different cultures. It's home, so I oh, it's breaking up just a little bit. Good. Hold on, hold on. It's kind of. It was breaking up. It was breaking up. All right. I think I got you now. It was breaking up a little bit. Yeah. When you started your yeah. answer. You go now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's better now. Yeah. All right, so hold on, it's still breaking up. Um, is it breaking up on your end? Am I breaking up? It's clear. Hmm. What's going on? Let's see. Let's give it some time. Let's see. All right, let's try. Maybe, maybe. Are you good, you know? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What was the question you had asked me again? I was saying, yeah, like, what work did you have to in terms of, like, becoming a good DJ, right? Because a lot of people definitely feel as if, you know, they can, if you just play music at your pregame or play music in the car with your friends, oh, I could be a DJ. But I really feel like it's deeper than just playing a vibe, right? So what sort of, well, can you speak to us about the research you had to go into, the work you had to go into to actually become a good DJ? All right, so first, like, being from the Bronx, um, it's a whole bunch of different cultures, right? So it's different genres I had to listen to at first and, and like, put it all together to, like, like for different events. So, like, like you have to make you have to make your own playlist and be ready. Like yeah. like that. And what I was about to say, I was gonna say, um, I also I went to a lot of different schools. So knowing like learning all of that from different genres, different cultures, that made me wanna see like, okay, this is how th this event's gonna turn out. Like they're gonna have a different outlook. Like I just got more in tune with it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. Also, you had said, wait, can you repeat that the last part you had said? I will say, like, what sort of research or what sort of work do you have to do in terms of, like, growing yourself as, like, a professional yeah. DJ? Yeah. Yeah, watching the crowd, right? The crowd yeah. is always, the, the crowd is always one thing, like, seeing how they, they react, like, like, if, if you throw on a regular song, it, and they don't react to it, like, there's no point, like, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, you just, you just gotta, you gotta be consistent with your shit. Exactly. And I feel like, is there a, uh, a barrier? Because coming from New York City, like you said, like, we have the dance hall, right, with the Caribbean influence, we have the Afro beats, the African influence, we got reggaeton and dembow and, you know, all the Latinx music and all that stuff. Is there a barrier coming where you're from, being Caribbean, being Black, with tapping into genres that may be, you know, languages or cultures that you're not really like growing up with or all or as familiar with, you know. I mean, not nah, you. It's, it's it's good because you get to learn. Like, mm -hmm. 
same time. Like everybody right. gets a, and it's cool. Like I don't got no problem with it. So what sort of things do you wish like someone told you in like growing your brand as a DJ as you were coming onto the scene? Um <laughs> make sure you get music from another DJ. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Cause I started from scratch, you feel me? A lot yeah. of DJs, they, they they got DJ, they got music from other DJs. I never did that. You feel me? So what do you mean by uh, get music from other DJs? Like, like it will be like, I, right, cause nobody just wakes up and just gets a laptop and say, oh, all right. If you do that, you, you wake up and get a laptop and say, oh, I'm a DJ, and you download a few songs. I right, cool, but. Yeah. I was breaking up a little bit again. Let's let it let's let it work itself out. All right, I think you're good. All right, we with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so like, what I was saying. All right, you can't get other DJs get like um hard drives from other DJs and have ah, like okay, a, whole, okay. a whole set like of millions of songs already, like. You know I mean? Oh, okay, okay. I had to really grind for my shit. I had to really yeah for my shit. I had to really search for my shit, download my shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's a hunt for my shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not easy. So you wish you kind of had someone that you like was a like was older than you or like a little bit more in the game that you kind of like lean on to for the technical yeah. aspect of like the game. Yeah, Got it. It's cool though. For me, I'm so, but we see now, right? And doing all that work and doing all that heavy lifting and really like, you know, um, just doing the groundwork that you were able to now move your, your business from New York to Atlanta, right? So let's discuss like what that, what, how that transition has been for you. I mean, right now it's still, it's, we ain't reached there yet, but it's in, it's in motion, you feel me? So. Mm-hmm. Like I can't really speak on that as right now, but we're gonna get the <laughs> right. Get the some most. So on the DJ side, though, do you do you kind of have to adapt your style or adapt some music to cater to a crowd that's not you know like New York, but has all different types of flavors and different types of culture? Nah, I don't think I gotta change anything. I feel like what I got right now, they they ready for it. <laughs> It's worldwide. <laughs> yeah, worldwide, international. So I know we probably can't think, we probably can't talk about it now, but like I know DJing is something that people usually get into before they get into deeper types, like deeper into the music industry, like music production, composition, things like that. So is music production something that we also can expect to see from you within the near sometime in the future? Oh yeah, it's going on right now. Right now as we speak. <laughs> yeah, but we we got we got a whole record label right now, man. Grind the riches. Okay, okay. I mean, that's not just a clothing brand; it's a lifestyle and it's a record label. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we working. So I'm going to grind to riches. Shout out to Kato. <laughs> yeah. One more time. Shout out to Kato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So going into grind to riches now, like. How did that come to be? And like, do you feel like, you know, like you said, like it's a label and a lifestyle, right? So how, what sort of message are you sort of, do you want to share with Grind to Riches? Um, Grind to Riches, all right. So basically, I'm basically putting it to you like, the, like this, um, the dream of the soul. I'm saying, basically, I'm saying like, if you want it, you gotta really just get up and get. Like, and then you just chilling. Nah. You gotta get up and go grind for your shit. You can't just chill. you can't just lay back. You gotta get up and go grind for your shit. <laughs> That's a fact, baby. Right. Scores things. <laughs> My boy ZJ <is> working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, and being a DJ, right, and then coming out with a clothing brand and also a record label now that we know what it is, do you feel like it was harder or easier to sort of push yourself into a different, you know, different industry? Because I feel like a lot of people in the creatives, they're like, oh, I'm really good at doing hair, so I don't want to get into doing nails because 
people won't take me seriously as a nail artist and things of that nature. So was it easier for you or was it hard for you? I mean, I'm not going to say it's easy, but at the same time, I want to build the way we So it's like, I'm just... I want to make sure we can hear you. Hold on. It's kind of breaking up again. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So it's basically two different things. So like, I'm basically learning as I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the the record label and the um the clothing line that's two different things. Like for me, the clothing the clothing line is like I we getting started, showing people what we doing. Like Ron and Riches, oh they like who that? You know what I mean? For me, then we got the music behind it. Oh, this is what the the story. Boom. Right. right. <laughs> it's coming though. Right. Everybody go to the name, Grind Riches. So now that we like kind of like getting, we're getting the, the platform, right? What sort of things can we expect this year or the next two years or whatever have you from ZJ Star, like Grind to Riches? Wait, repeat that? What sort of things can we expect from ZJ Star and Grind to Riches this year in terms of the branding? This year, you're going to see a lot of music videos. A lot of a lot of new faces. It's not gonna be just ZJ Star. You know what I mean? Because it's it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of. You know what I mean? It's a lot of right. pain. We gonna we gonna tell our stories. You know what I mean? But it's coming. This this summer. This summer. This is this 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 exact summer. We about to be in. We about to be in effect. This exact summer. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Uh huh. So like, what do you, how do you feel now being like where you're from, being from the Bronx, coming, you know, working on your craft solely, you know, day in and day out and not being in a position to sort of also give people an opportunity to grind at their passions and, you know, reap the fruits of their labor. Wait, repeat that? You want me to give like, say that again? So, what, so speak to us about your perspective and like coming from the Bronx grinding through your passion and then now being in a position where you could also collaborate with other people and put them in a position as well to work on their craft and help you out as well as you helping them out. I mean, I don't have no problem doing that. Like anybody, like if anybody feels free to work with me, like, like they're welcome. Like that's what, that's really what it is. Like a lot of people have the, like, <laughs> Their own opinions of how things gonna work, and I like I, I'm not really into like like confusing. So if yeah. anybody's like, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> the simplest thing is just to work together and just shut yeah, up. If you want right. to work together, that's cool. If you want to work together, that's cool. But there's a lot of distractions out there, and I'm really not trying to get into any of that. So I'm just focused, like. Right. And then going into focus too, my last question before we get into our lightning round is how do you kind of find the balance between, because you're a, Z, you're a DJ, but you also have to sort of be professional, but your professional job is making sure everyone else gets to play. Right. So mm -hmm. how do you get that balance in where, okay, I got my professional life and then I have my private life. How do you find that balance of working day in, day on your craft and then also making time for what you want to do? I mean, I just, <laughs> I just add it to my day. Like I, I don't even, I don't even pressure it. I just, I just keep on going. Like I get, like I, I'm, like I'll wake up, download some new music, get some new music, run through some music, and like, I say I have a party. Like say it's a Friday, and I have a party in the night. I get busy from early. My, my playlist run, run through. I'm set. For <laughs> You feel me? So, right. I, I don't really, I don't really pressure it. Like I just get straight to work. Like just get right to work. Like it, it's, it's nothing. It's not really hard. Like the simple, the simple thing is just to work hard. Like, like if yeah. you really want to get to it. Like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people, they always want like a grandiose answer. They want to like have like a real complicated answer. But a real simple thing is just, just do it. Like just, do just it. work hard and just I'm do it. Trying to explain it my best way, but. Right. It's simple, just do it. So if you've been on my if you've seen the show, seen the interviews before, you know I like to do a lightning round at the end to sort of get a, a feel of like who we talking to just so that people watching can also get a feel of who they're talking to as well, right? So just a few questions just to just to pick your brain about a few things. All right. Mm. 
All right. So one, right? When you're doing a set, is there a song that you always have to play? Like you oh like this is a song that you're in love with. You always gotta play this song, no matter where you at, whenever what set is going on. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of hard. There's a lot of them. <laughs> all right, so let's say all right, first, let's, let's get different types of vibes. All right, so let's say you had a, like a Caribbean vibe. What's the one song you gotta play? The one song I gotta play. Yeah. Shoot. I would just say, uh, Tinga Lee. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, everyone, everyone falls in love. I always play that. <laughs> everyone okay, falls okay. In love. Now, what if you got like an African vibe? African vibe. I gotta play um burn a boy on the low. You have to. Both. Okay, okay, okay. And then what if you got like a Spanish vibe? Spanish vibe. La mala la mala la mala. All right. This one before, all right. <laughs> if you had like a, a at a white person party, you know, American party, as I should say it, I guess. Party in the USA. My body <laughs> <laughs> so what are artists people may not think that you listen to if they don't know you we say it again so what are some artists that you listen to but people may not know if they don't know you all right number one kato for me that's one oh, of the artists okay. on he he's we don't get we don't get everybody in tune man he's coming up right now man that's Kato with the K-A-Y-D-O? K-A-Y-T-O. Everybody check him out on YouTube. Okay, okay. Y-T-O. I got, a, I got a song with him, too. I be, I do a little rapping, too. We gonna okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. You're definitely going to hit on the summertime, all right? Yeah. So what's your favorite type of event to spin for? Um. Honestly... Like a club, a club scene. I mean, okay. Twenty one and up. Okay, you know, nice old Friday night after everybody is unwinding and everything. Okay, okay. So, what are some other? You already told us with Kato, but what are some other music artists that you would want to put us onto that we should definitely have on our radar? Brady J. Okay. Yeah. Somebody send that. Send this loud to her right now. Brady J. Somebody send that. Brady <laughs> J. All right. R A Y D Y J. She gonna pop okay, up. Okay, okay. All right. Is there anybody else you wanna put us on to? Um let's see. I mean right now we got who else? We really got we got top. We got um 242 top. 242 top, okay. Baby Scorcher, he was just in the comments too. Okay, okay. Who else is up here? Put the whole collective on. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to come up right now. This is the summer. So, before we head out of here, what are three lessons that you want to share with us that we can learn from that you learned on your journey so far? Wait, shout out to Rady. She just joined. <laughs> but nice. <see> it again. <laughs> so, what are three lessons that you learned that you can share with us that you learned on your journey so far? I mean... True. Oh, one thing from the the label too. I I made it the um one of the statements. It said um the dream is free, but the the grind is sold separately. That's one. Mm -hmm. that, that's just one way. <laughs> Dreams demand hustle is another one. But um, I got something right here. Hold on one second. If you ain't cash, the first one, the dreams are free, but the grind is sold separately. Yeah, a lot of people will tell you that you can't, and you can still do it. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know I mean, that's that's uh, I heard that a lot. <laughs> oh, you can't do this, but you prove them wrong. Right, right. And I feel like a lot of people definitely don't feel like DJing is like a a clear cut path into getting to what you want to do because it's just like playing music at parties or whatever, but they just only see it as that. But it's so much bigger than just playing music at parties, right? So, yeah. Those are definitely, so the first you one you said, one more, one more time? No, one more time? You can't too, you can't, you can never be too comfortable, my fault. 
Oh, got you. And that's another thing I've learned as well. And being comfortable, you kind of stay where you want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if you if you stayed comfortable, you probably would have stayed, in, stayed uh, not even having a laptop. You know what I'm saying? Like, just playing things off, off the radio. Yeah. You feel me? So, first one, grind. The dreams are, dreams are free, but the grind is sold separately. Right? Yeah. They go tell you that you can't, even though you can. Right? Mm -hmm. And never become comfortable. Never get comfortable. Wise words. Wise words. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to leave us with before we head out of here? I mean, we got some new music on the way. K Y T O Kato. I mean, you know, we gonna right. tell, we gonna get we can play play it real quick. Are you gonna play? Yo, of course, play it. Of yeah. course. <laughs> I love the exclusives. Sad times. Nah, matter of fact. Play, yeah, no, if you know you believe. Alright, so play it, play it, play it. Play it. Is that yeah, play it again. Yeah, it's on the top, ton of top, yes, uh. So I say everybody tune in, man. This is Kato Ray, hold on. It's coming out this summer. This summer, probably come out. Probably drop it this week. <laughs> I need that for the drop top drops. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, say that. We gonna need that. that. Need that. He in the stool right now working. That's why he's not really in the comments right now. But hey, I love it. I love it. Working while you're working. Mm -hmm. Feel me. But yo, thank you so much, DJ Star. I'm gonna let you get back to work. Working on making them hits, making them Grammy nominated hits one day, you know? And thank you for dropping everything you did about your journey, about how far you've come and how far you're about to go. And I already know you're going to go even farther. Everyone that's tuning in, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys can watch this interview on the DC Voice, watch past interviews in the DC Voice, and follow the DC Voice for more updates. And make sure you guys follow at DJ's, ooh, ZJ Star, two R's. <laughs> on Instagram to get his latest single and catch up with all he's about to drop this summer and everything thus far. All right, yo, thank you for having me. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in, man. Of course, of course, of course. And definitely, definitely, we would love to hear that new single drop, hopefully this week. Hopefully this week. Yeah. We can get that this week. Hey, man, YTO, man, YouTube. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. All right.